New tonight, a 10 on your side success. We first told you about an inner city youth football team from Portsmouth scammed out of $8,000 for new uniforms. Hours after the story aired, people in the community reached out to help. 10 on your side's Michelle Wolf joins us tonight from Suffolk, where the team is taking to the field in their new jerseys. The Bruins are wearing their new uniforms for the first time tonight. I spoke to the team's nine year old quarterback and he's so excited. He tells me he's excited to look as good as he feels on the field and we just watched him score a touchdown. When they saw these uniforms last week, they were so happy. 125 children from Portsmouth now have one thing in common. They're all wearing the same football uniform. Money for this Pop Warner team is a luxury, and many on the team have played in old, hand-me-down, or mismatched gear up until this week. And it's unfortunate, but some people expect us to look bad, and so having uh, nice uniforms uh, makes the kids uh, proud. Kids like nine-year-old King Smith, who modeled his new jersey for us Wednesday. Smith has played for the Bruins for the last two years. I think we look good. That speaks volumes just to put smiles on their faces. Town Bank and A4 Development Group answered the call to action after hearing about the Bruins being scammed out of $8,000 by a company in North Carolina. I saw the story on Channel 10, and I, we work for Town Bank. They're one of our, our clients. Bob Aston, who is the chairman, the founder of the bank, has a real soft spot for Portsmouth in particular because that's where he grew up but also for youth sports. We need these uh, people in our lives and our communities to help the young kids know that there's a lot of things going on out here in the world and help them see those things. Kenny Cuffey, who serves as the president of construction for A4 Developments, runs a youth organization himself and understands the need for such programs in the community. It's an outlet for a lot of kids. Um, it gives them things to do um, outside of just the regular things in their neighborhood. Yes, sir! as these kids run the ball and score, looking as good as they play. Hopefully we'll bring a regional championship and a national championship back to Portsmouth. In Suffolk, Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side.